Human hand versus robotic arm. It's a battle that's been fought in factories across America. Now, it's about to happen down on the farm. Juan Bravo is the founder of Agrobot, a Spanish robotics manufacturer. It's one of a growing number of high-tech companies hoping to revolutionize how farming is done. He has chosen California as a testing ground because it is the largest producer of strawberries in the world. Here's how the robot finds the ripe ones. As the arms are lowered into the strawberry bed, cameras on each of them take 20 photos per second, scanning for red berries. Then, computer algorithms analyze the images, separating each strawberry by its shape and checking its color. If 80% of a berry is a ripe red color, the arm positions its basket so the strawberry lies in it, and a blade snips the stem. The whole process takes four seconds. This prototype still needs human hands to package the delicate strawberries and to pick the strawberries the bot misses. But with Agrobot, only four people are needed to harvest 10 acres, a job that typically takes 10 people. And unlike humans, the robot can work round the clock. Grape growers are also worried about labor shortages, according to Tony Kaselka, co-founder of Vision Robotics. He says that's why some have invested in the development of this automated grapevine pruner. So this is Snippy. <laughs> Snippy. Snippy. He's, he's, he's one of a kind right now, but we're hoping to change that. Yeah. Its camera eyes snap 20 photos of the vine, so its computer brain can make a 3D model of it. How does Snippy measure up to the human workforce in terms of precision and accuracy when it's actually out there working? 